Okay. Um, hey everybody. Hi, hi, what's going on? How are you guys all doing today? It's been quite a while since I've like sat down and actually filmed a video in this kind of style and feels a little weird, but here I am. Please ignore my um, makeshift backdrop. This is a scarf with some chairs, um, hiding the mess that is behind here. Now I guess it's all out in the open, isn't it? So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into the things that I am currently digging. So the very first thing that I'm really enjoying right now is this, is this royal blue um, kind of puffy jacket. It's super, super lightweight, um, which I really, really love for camping and for like colder nights. Um, I've really been enjoying this jacket because it also folds up while we've been camping. It's easy to bring with me places and it's not super bulky, which I also really like. And I also enjoy the fact that I only paid $14 for it because I'm seeing these coats everywhere. Like since we've been on Vancouver Island, um, even when we were in Vancouver, I saw tons of people wearing these like puffy jackets and apparently they're in style. So style and warmth, sold. The next I've really been enjoying is these straws. I, I got these straws because for so long I was like, hey, I need to stop buying plastic straws. You know, when you go to the wherever and you get the straw that comes with it and it's plastic and you're like, why am I doing this? And it's hard sometimes because I find myself always kind of beating myself up for sometimes purchasing plastic or not being as eco-friendly as I really like to and I think that's kind of a, a wrong type of mindset to have because if you're even making small improvements every day to be more eco-friendly you're still on the right track so that's what's important if you ask me back to these straws they are these stainless steel straws and they are from the brand called uh, Clean Canteen. I think these were $15. Yes, the price tag is still on it. It was $15. And it came with four straws and they all have like a flexi cone tip, which is nice, it's silicone. And it also came with this little cleaning brush. Uh, if you're somebody that has reusable straws, then you know the struggle of cleaning straws. It's, it can be real nasty. So I'm really happy this came. Uh, with a little cleaner and I've just been obsessed with drinking with a straw like when I drink something with a straw I feel more inclined to be drinking water and I just really like it okay the next thing that I've been digging is I wish that this didn't work as well as it's been working for me because it is ridiculously priced um, this is actually a product that my sister purchased and she didn't really like it so I've kind of been using it since I've been staying at her place and it is this Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury, oh, luxury. Uh, Facial Oil. Uh, this is way too expensive. I think she said she paid like 130 bucks for it but to be honest the improvement in the dark spots on my face is really crazy. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I'm not wearing any uh, like foundation, I'm not wearing any makeup at all, but my skin just feels really like plump and really hydrated, and I, I do notice a difference. And the only thing that I've been doing differently other than my Cetaphil routine um, is adding this a couple drops of this every night, and it's really been really great. But honestly, I will never buy this, because $130 for any skincare product, y'all be out of your goddamn mind. <laughs> So the next thing that I'm gonna talk about today is actually a mushroom. And there's a bit of a story behind this. So while Will and I were driving out here, we stopped in Calgary at my friend Jen's house and to show thanks for letting us stay there for a couple of days, we gave her some of our chaga fungi that we harvested earlier that year in Ontario. And she was so happy about it, she gifted us in return some slices of this mushroom called reishi or reishi. I can't remember how it's pronounced. I'll put the spelling in the video here, but it's just like a dried mushroom and you basically make a tea out of it. And Google this, there are some serious medicinal properties and you know, this very well could be also contributing to my glowy skin because I really like applying um, medicinal herbs and spices and fungi and all that jazz into my life because I think that going with natural options for like health and healing is a lot more beneficial and also you have a connection with what you're putting in your body a lot more. So um, check out these mushrooms if you're into that kind of jazz. 
All right, so now we're gonna talk about something that's kind of boring, toothpaste. <laughs> so I have been on the hunt for an all natural toothpaste for quite some time. Uh, if you're somebody that, that knows anything about fluoride, you would know that it's always in toothpaste and it's really, really bad for you. So I have recently found this Nature's Gate natural toothpaste and it is in the flavor peppermint. And this has been a really, really, really great addition into my teeth brushing routine. A lot of the time it sucks because all natural toothpaste that I have tried never really do a good job. Like they taste good and then like within five seconds of brushing they kind of just like turn to mush. There's no foaming action and it's just not good. But with this toothpaste I really do notice a difference and my teeth feel really really great after I use it. Uh, again this is the brand called Nature's Gate. It's the brand called Nature's Gate and it is vegan, non-GMO and all the good things we need from a toothpaste. last things I've been digging video I talked a bit about an all natural deodorant that I had been testing out and I really do still like that deodorant but um, there's there's a new girl in town um, my boyfriend actually gave this to me because someone had gifted it to him and he didn't really like it too much so I got it uh, and it is this peaceful warrior crystal fresh deodorant and it's by the brand called sage natural wellness uh, I did know what this brand was prior to ever using this but I'd never tried anything from the brand and this is seriously such a great natural deodorant. Where do I even begin? The smell? Oh, it's got some on my hands. Oh God. If you like anything like herby, um, if you like the smell of going into like an all natural store, you know what I'm saying? That kind of essential oil infused smell, then you should totally try this out. It's awesome because I can smell the essential oils throughout the day from my armpits, which I really like. And it's also just a great, you know, little like perfume deodorant in one combo dealio. So loving that. Something else I've really been enjoying lately is matcha green tea. Uh, Will and I purchased a box of these on our way out here because we wanted some tea. And this is such a great coffee replacement. It has the same amount of caffeine, probably if not more caffeine than a cup of coffee does. And it also has a lot of healing properties. Um, this brand is called Rishi, Rishi, and it is a full leaf tea and it is organic and it was just such a great tea. It was so flavorful and I just absolutely loved it. So we only have like two of these left and I'm kind of sad about it. And I also got them on Crazy Clarence. A box of these is a regular 10 bucks and I got them for two. So once I run out of these, I'm, I'm done for. I've also really been enjoying my little hat that I'm wearing. Choo choo! Uh, I got this hat when I was in Vancouver. I got this hat at a Winners and it was 15 bucks I think. And I just think it's very fall ready, you know what I'm saying? Uh, which leads me into my next favorite. I would have to honestly say that I have been really digging fall. Fall is hands down one of my favorite seasons. Actually, you know what? No. Fall is my favorite season. Uh, I love how in, during the day it's kind of warm, there's still lots of sun, you can still, you know, like throw in a little flannel and go outside, and then the nights are kind of cooler and chiller, and it's perfect hiking temperature, it's perfect camping temperature, and I just love the way the air smells, I love pumpkin pie, I love Halloween, really excited for fall to continue being awesome. So the last thing that I've been digging has been so nostalgic, it hurts. So when I was growing up, we never were allowed to play like video games or computer games, which sucked. Um, but I did have an aunt who had this game system. If you don't know what this is, this is the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. And my sister recently got this at like a used gaming store and I've been addicted. Will and I were up literally at like 2 a.m. this morning playing Donkey Kong and it was we need help. We need help. The only game that my sister has is the oh, oh my god, is it even come out? Donkey Kong Country game. But this is this is hard. We can't beat this one level, and it's just intense. Uh, if you don't know what this game system is, you were probably born post two thousands. And if you do know what this game is, um, all I have to say to you is. All right, and with that being said, that concludes my things that I'm digging video. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, I'm excited to make more future videos.
kind of similar to this and more sit downy videos talking about different subjects and different things. It's just kind of hard right now because we're constantly traveling and we're constantly on the move, but there are more vlogs coming, so stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate it if you did. Uh, it's just down below. And also you can give this video a thumbs up. And if you click the bell notification down there, you'll be notified every time that I upload. So that way you'll never miss a video. All right, that's all. Bye.